and welcome to the new Team Epic Meow channel. Uh, today we have myself, David, and my good friend and fellow teammate, Ashley. Hello. And today we are playing Carcassonne. Uh, today we are playing with uh, Tato, Natalie, and James, and we're starting off with the River Expansion. Actually, I know you don't like the river expansion, do you? No, I don't like the river expansion. One bit. <laughs> no, it's, it's not really... I don't know. It says in the rules that you should start off with the river expansion if you've never played Carcassonne before. In my opinion, you shouldn't play with the river expansion. You've got just straight in with the standard starting tile, which in my opinion is how it should always be played and never any other way, in all honesty. Straight away you can see um, Tato plays his first tile and he hasn't able to... He hasn't been able to lay any meeples. James does exactly the same. Natalie's been fortunate enough to place one onto a road, which is absolutely fine. But Tao again plays another another tile when he gets absolutely nothing, which is probably why I don't like the river expansion, personally. Yeah, well, people get an early advantage in the game where other players don't, and I see, it just seems to be unfair to me. Yeah, definitely. This definitely. Uh, expansion. Natalie went there for the castle, and already... That limits to what she can actually place there to finish that castle straight away. If she'd faced it maybe the other way, it would have been okay because she would have had like such an open space. So many other tiles could have been placed there. Now there's only a specific amount of uh, tiles that she can put there. The same with James. James now has to focus on finishing this monastery that he's placed there. I think um, the main reason why I don't like uh, the river expansion is because once people are on it, when the river is finished, it's hard to then start playing the game. All the roads are already taken, so any anything that you get has to contribute to a plain side, has to contribute to the to the field, an empty field, which I think is quite hard to do, really. Now, Tato takes this uh, castle, and again, just like Natalie's place, she uh, Tato's going to struggle to try and finish and connect to that castle. There's only two or three tiles that can actually fit between the castle he's on now and the castle that's at the bottom. And again, that's something that James will also want to um, try to, try to complete. Obviously, he's got the monastery there. So now, we actually make two mistakes in this, in this video. The first being, James should have been the person to play the first tile after the river expansion had been finished. Obviously, Natalie went, she finished it. It should have been James, but we already got them to draw their tiles beforehand. So they're already, you know, we've already made a mistake there. And innocently, uh, Natalie's just uh, ruined Tao's hope of ever finishing <laughs> exactly. that castle. He's definitely not going to finish that castle a, now. Which is a great move by Natalie there. Yeah, definitely. And that wouldn't really happen uh, early on in the game. You know, it's really hard to, to cock block people like that. And that, uh, James made a pretty good move, to be fair. And, and I would say the only good move he makes this game, <laughs> where he's trying to sneak up on um, Natalie's castle there. This tile that Natalie just laid, she could have finished off a earlier castle that she uh, that she'd made, mm. and you'll probably notice for the rest of the game now that this castle will be uh, left obsolete for the rest of the game. Yeah, definitely. And James made another questionable play there with the tile he just placed. He could have easily got onto Natalie's castle over here, or even contributed to this one here, and making sure that because he, he even he even got that if he placed this tile here, he would then have access to that, to that castle he, it would be his yeah. completely his and you wouldn't be able to you wouldn't be sharing it with anyone Tato himself with uh, two turns back he could have also tried to get in on this castle but it's a, it's a little bit too late now for him unfortunately I just feel sorry for um, Tato because for the rest of the game now after this tile although he's gotten off to a good start he Pause, he pulls some, some dick tiles, unfortunately. Natalie making another nice play there. She's going to squeeze her way into this castle. Hopefully. I like how James takes his time when he Ponders moves. his moves. And then he makes a bad move. <laughs> And you can tell straight away that those four tiles in the middle that are blank, they're not really going to get filled. I can't imagine they would get filled. It looks like they can, but you just know they're not. I think that was another good move by Natalie. She um, obviously can't place that meeple there, but it stops James from trying to take over the castle again or equalise it. 
James here trying to get on another one of Natalie's castles again. Yeah. Well, considering he's lost one. And there it is. So Natalie takes full control over that castle, scores herself a nice uh, 14 points. And another questionable tile <laughs> by, uh, by James. I think if he had placed it upwards, I wouldn't have said that's a bad placement. Yeah, not at all. In all honesty. I agree, yeah. He's just a, put a tile down now, and he will more than likely never finish that castle <laughs> no. now for the rest of the game. There's very few tiles that can actually go to, to finish it. You need another one of these to finish it, really. Actually, yeah, that, that is literally the only tile that can go there. Yeah. Literally the only tile that can go there. And there's already, what, two out on the, yeah, on the already, table now? Yeah, already, exactly. So. And I'm not too sure how many. I think there's only three or four. And Tao again is being really unlucky with um with the roads. They clearly love him. And again, James uh, just pondering his move. Let's see what bad movie he's going to play. Any second now. Any second now. <laughs> Sometimes when you're just sitting here watching, you don't realise how long he takes. No. And this is edited as well. <laughs> We've already edited an hour. <clears> yeah, exactly. Gameplay. I think the longest he took was two minutes and around 40 seconds to make a decision on a move. And it's a good move in the end. Yeah, to be, James, yeah, yeah. it wasn't too bad, actually. Or maybe his second best move. Other than that, yeah, we'll see. Now he scores himself a nice uh, four points on that road. Sometimes it's hard in Carcasso not to finish someone else's castle or their road or anything like yeah. that. And James is already sharing that castle now, sharing those four points. And this is this is the most questionable move of the game that happens right now. And I was actually in shock when it happened. Natalie just openly gives him, gives James the castle. I mean, there is there is no. No, there's it's 100% no. Bad yeah, move, isn't there's it? there's no answer for what what she's done there. No, no understand. Don't not understand why she's made that. <laughs> <laughs> it shocked me at the time, and it still shocks me now. I think this is the at this point. We're it's right now. This is we were actually talking to Natalie, saying explain to her why it's a bad move, and this is why Tato plays. We we completely missed that Tato played that illegal move. Obviously, the road goes into an empty field, so obviously it's an illegal move to make, and it shouldn't be done. But we carried on playing. We completely ignored it until. Probably towards the end of the game, I think. I think it was when we were counting the scores. That's when we actually realised <laughs> that that tile was in a terrible position. Definitely, yeah. And, yeah, when playing back, it was definitely... We was actually talking to Natalie at that specific point. And James, he's got no meeples, but he's got an open castle there, but he just placed that castle for no reason, just placed it there, done nothing with it, when he could have easily placed it on his existing... Uh, development and he could have got, scored himself an extra point instead Tato's added to it and he's got himself an extra point himself and, uh, yeah, I think he does this a couple more times to be fair I think he wants to finish that castle Tato and the first monastery of the game that he scores himself a nice four points would you ever consider maybe just scoring the road on a monastery um, I don't think I don't think anyone would. No. Depending on how long the road is, if you've got a nine road yeah. and you could finish it off with a ten with a ten points, yeah, then well. possibly you might as well go for it. Yeah. But I think not a lot of people would uh, ever play around that. Mm. They try and find a space on the board where they can make the maximum points straight off the bat with a monastery. Yeah, definitely. And it's never normally connected to a road or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's a very rare occasion. And James again. And Tao's, this is the second time it's happened. James has placed a castle tile where he could have contributed to his current uh, castle. And Tato swooped in, stolen the castle. And yeah, I just don't understand why he's not placing his tiles where they should be placed. <laughs> he's managed to actually place a tile properly now. Lucky him. Everyone's almost out of meeples at this point in the game. Yeah. Tato there, he went to go place that tile there. Um, like you said, he places it in his existing castle at the top. That would have given him an extra five points. I mean, was there any benefit to not doing it, really? I mean, at a point in the game, he's ahead of um, he's ahead of James. So to take the extra points off of James there would have been a great move. Yeah, definitely. Um, but still, there's no problem in actually expand on your own castle, as you can see now. He's just completed his castle. Yeah, so and he's got extra nice points, points for himself there. 
plus 14 points there as well. This is the third monastery that's come out that Natalie has actually been able to get. Unfortunately, she's never had any meeples. But she should have really been surrounding those two tiles with her existing monastery. Yeah, right? that's correct. Yeah. She would have got herself another two points. At the moment, they're doing nothing. It's not until you actually watch this video, you realise how OCD all of us are. Yeah. You're actually one of the worst. Some of the other recordings I have, you constantly sh um, making sure that everything's in order, especially oh, yeah. when it comes to the card games. I'm not really like that as a person, but <laughs> uh, when I'm playing with the camera above us, I just yeah. want everything to look nice. And yeah. at the moment, this looks a bit scrappy. Yeah, especially at the top. <laughs> Even yeah. just there, Natalie had to yeah strain it, strain out it up. Yeah. We've still got three more monasteries that are inside these 14 remaining tiles. James is a uh, drunken meeple for me up there. <laughs> <laughs> and again, Tao just, just getting rowed. It's really unfortunate. There's nothing worse than playing a game and just having dick hands all the time. Yeah. No monastery for Natalie there. Yeah, exactly. And no, no more meeples. meeples. It's just, it's unreal. Why is this happening to her? Now he connects, Tao still has a meeple left, but he connects this road, so he only gets six points for this, but he could have stuck that anywhere else, really. Oh, yeah, he could have stuck it at the top. Some extra points, yeah, he could yeah. have stuck it at the top there, would have given himself an extra point. And James finally finishing this castle. He could have finished that a lot earlier, to be fair, if he placed the right tiles. He gets himself a tremendous amount of points, all thanks to Natalie, just giving it up to him. Yeah. To be fair, he may have been able to you know, connect him himself. Oh yeah, he probably could have, but I think she connected it so early for him. Yeah. She ended up giving up on that castle and doesn't even try and fight back for it at yeah. all. Yeah, I think once we had a word with her, she yeah. kind of realised, her justification was, oh, you know, you play your way, I think this is a good move, this is a good strategy. And it, yeah. And again, Natalie gets the fifth, is that the fifth? That's the fifth monastery that's come out. And Natalie, <laughs> Natalie's obtained them all. Luckily she had meeples for this one. And there's only two more tiles. So there's either Tao or Natalie to get it. So it looks like Natalie's going to be getting that last one. So the last parts of Carcassonne is where you really want to finish all your roads. Yeah, you want to finish, try and finish everything you've got. It's quite difficult. And again, Natalie gets everything when it comes to the monastery. She's got all six, which I think is unbelievable. Oh, it's insane. Now you can Absolutely see insane. Tao only got... Um, Eight points for the roads. He obviously got a joint six for that one up there. He would have got an extra a few extra more points. He was just really unfortunate, wasn't he? Oh, he really was. He just got hardly any castle pieces. He got a nice, you know, five points at the bottom there, but it was towards the end of the game where he couldn't really finish anything. You know, at the moment James is now in front of him, so it actually would have been beneficial for him to connect with James's castle right here. That yeah, would have been nice. That's correct, yeah. And he got obviously no monasteries or anything like that. So he got additional 16 points on top of his 32, ends on uh, 48 points, which isn't amazing, but you know, considering he only got roads, it's not too bad. In yeah, it's not too bad. And he finished off two nice castles as well. Um, Natalie <laughs> went hard on the monastery. She just got extremely lucky. And not only did she just place the three monasteries that she occupied in, you know, on the board and managed to put a meeple on them, she placed them in good areas where it, it was instant eight points instant seven points this one over here was obviously four points at the beginning yeah but the others sometimes it's just like that isn't it you get you get the monastery stick it down it's straight away nine points straight yeah. away seven points yeah really unfortunate she also managed to finish off her two castles so that gives her an extra 28 points on top of her 44 she has always 72 points which is quite a big quite a big score for yeah, um for a free player game it's quite a big score to have this Especially with the river expansion on there, so it's hard to get a high score with that yeah. kind of obscurity. If you look, there's nothing. Way. There's nothing around the river expansion either, is there? There's nah. literally nothing around it. All the castles and everything are quite far away from it, really. Yeah, people try to avoid it as much as possible. Yeah. It doesn't help out at all. No, exactly. And uh, James, although he played a fair few bad, um, bad tiles, overall he didn't do too bad. Yeah, you I, got a I respectable score for the River Carcassonne, definitely. Yeah, exactly. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So now we've got the fast motion thing. Actually, I don't know how to finish the video now. Um, how could we end it? I don't know. I feel like we should have some sort of like song and dance sort of thing. Yeah.
Get some drink. Get some drink. And just dance on the tables. Yeah. Obviously, you lot can't watch that. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Maybe a later video. Yeah, definitely. Us dancing on a table. Yeah. I, don't, I think my coffee not, table can hold us. Not me. Maybe you. Yeah, definitely. It'll hold both of us. I'll just, I'll just lay on it and dance laying on it. Yeah? Yeah, it'd be easy. And then I'll dance on top of you. Sort of yeah, thing. okay. That sounds good. Yeah. This sounds like a video for a different website. To <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll end the video here. Yeah. And then at a later date, I'll figure out how to end it properly. Yeah. I think maybe we'll keep this as a running gag. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching anyway, guys. Yeah, definitely. Hope you enjoyed it. And if uh, you uh, see any other better plays than us, or you thought we made some bad comments, then let us know in the <laughs> yeah. comments below. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Let yeah. us know what you think of the game, if you enjoy playing it. Mm. Let us know. Let us know what you think. Yeah. And I'm sure the team will definitely be the first people to watch this and criticise us. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Can't wait for their abuse. Oh, God. <laughs>